What's up, it's you for today's video. We're we full Cosmorium team. Ah, uh, here we go again, people. So Cosmo obviously only has three moves, right? That's why people want to see this. And they want to see me really suffer. So teleport, Cosmic Pound, Splash. It doesn't even have a, like, a single attacking move, right? If you want to follow me on Twitch, this is where I do all my theme teams, Pokemon sweeps, all that sort of stuff. I take all my battles there. Come and drop me a follow. The link is in the description of the video. And let's get into these two amazing battles. Now, I will explain something. The difference between this and last time. Actually, last time, I actually did a Cosmog-only team, right? And I did that in Gen 7. But there wasn't any, like, 20-minute timer and stuff like that. So that sort of worried me a little bit whether I was actually going to be able to complete a battle. Now, I had a battle on the Wycom. This one, I think, it was against Agent Smith. And the thing right here, right, they had a full team of Pokemon. But when they seen my team, they just brought one along. So, obviously, they were fairly confident they were going to win, right? Which is fine by me because using six Cosmob with no attacking moves was going to be a challenge in itself. So, we got Teleport, Cosmic Pound, Splash. That's what I ran on every single one of them. Now, I need to come up with six different strategies on all these Pokemon. So, I'm going to swap my uh, Cosmium out and go into my next one here. This was a, uh, a Jaboka Berry uh, Cosmium. Now, what Jaboka Berry does, right, it actually does damage the opponent when you get hit by a physical move. It does one-eighth of their health, which is uh, not very much damage, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? Now, at this stage, I was like, you know what? The best thing I can do is maybe try and PP stall them out. So I went for the Cosmic Power, they're outspeeding my metal. It kind of felt uh, pretty nice there, because most of the time, Cosmo get outspeed. And we've got a double Iron Bash here on my Cosmo. And it's very, very bulky, this set. Um, even with, like, uh, even with no Everlight, it still managed to, like, live a couple, like a lot of hits, right? So all of these sets, I ran Max Health on. Just remember that, right? And I had six different items and six different strategies for all of them, which was very hard, considering they only had three moves, right? So down goes my first Cosmo. The next Pokemon I'm going to send in is Cosmo. Now, you can't get this Pokemon shiny, otherwise I would definitely would have used it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for a Splash, because this set actually has a Roat Berry on it, right? Now, what Roat Berry does, it's, it's completely useless in this battle. Um, if my opponent uses a special attacking move, it'll do one eighth damage to them as well. Exactly like the uh, Jaboka Berry, but it's just a special move. Unfortunately, Momoto isn't using any special moves, so my third Cosmo was complete dead weight. The only thing I thought that could come out of it right would be actually just taking away some of his double iron bash PP. That's pretty much it. So now we're going to go into uh, number four Cosmo. And this set, oh, this is a struggle set. So I gave my Cosmo Assault Vest, Max Health, and <laughs> Max Attack. And I did three damage with uh, the struggle there. So I actually managed to uh, live this uh, Darkest Lariat or Dankest Lariat, which is very nice, which is going to enable me to get another struggle off, right? Which is cool, right? So go for that, uh, another struggle there on the Melmetal. And we've nearly taken, we're getting close to a quarter health on the Melmetal. This is not very nice, versing a Melmetal. It's a very, very bulky Pokemon. So we've got uh, two more Cosmoem left there. And I'm going to go into my fifth Cosmoem. Now, this one was an interesting set. Look, look at those moves. It's, it's changing so much, people. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go for Cosmic Power here and see what happens. On this set, right, I was thinking about running a Rocky Helmet one because Rocky Helmet would be pretty good against a physical user if I got a couple of Cosmic Powers up, right? Because they'd have to hit me like a lot of times. So here comes a Ice Punch here. Ice Punch is not going to do much at all. And Rocky Helmet does some nice damage. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to spam Cosmic Power as much as I can spam it and get as much Rocky Helmet damage as humanly possible possible, right? So here comes the double iron bash. It is going to do more damage, but, 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 it's actually going to do two rounds of damage of Rocky Helmet. Unfortunately, uh, Melmode has a freaking Citrus Berry, so it's going to heal up a lot of the damage that I just dealt, all right? So here comes the second double iron bash there, and that one crits, which really, really sucks there, because the next one, I'm going to be going down. Now, I've got uh, another Cosmic Power today. I thought, Maybe I might be able to stall out the first double iron bash and then they'll have to hit me for a second one and that'll do two rounds of uh, the rocky helmet damage. So here it comes people and I lift it on 69 health there and Melmetal is going to take two rounds of rocky helmet. We are getting close people. Can we beat the Melmetal or are we going to get destroyed? Alright, so I've got one more Cosmoem left that I haven't revealed yet and this set is a very gimmicky one. Like trust me, it's very gimmicky. But um, it's perfect situation for it, right? So this is a Teleport Cosmic Power Splash set. <laughs> They're all the same. So we've got this uh, set, right? This is a Sticky Barb Cosmo. So obviously, uh, we're going to go for a Splash here. There's not really much I can do. And here comes the Double Iron Bash from uh, the uh, Metal Metal, right? So it's going to hit me once, and then it's going to hit me twice. Now, since it did a contacting move, right? Sticky Barb is actually going to get transferred to my opponent, and they don't have an item anymore because they ate their Citrus Bro. So now they're stuck 
with the Sticky Bar, which is actually does a one-eighth of damage as well. Rocky Helmet does one-sixth of damage uh, of the health to the opponent too. So I was getting some pretty good amounts of damage here. So I thought for a bit, what should I do? Should I go for Teleport? Should I just go for another Cosmic Power? Like... I mean, I don't really... Oh, I just go for Splash here. And I decided to just go for Splash here. And then they went for a Dynamax. It's like, okay, Dynamax, well, metal. They're not going to get lots of health back, so it's not that bad of a thing. And then I seen those skinny legs. that the, They skip leg day. And we got a naughty, naughty hacker here, people. A shiny metal metal. Like, I can't believe it, people. They're, like, how is this still allowed online? They're meant to do, like, a checkup on all these things. Okay, so we got a naughty hack here. I'm going to go for the splash, and there's nothing else I'm going to do, right? Here comes the uh, Max Darkness from Memo. I think that's coming off the uh, Dankus Lariat, unless they got, like, another Dark-type move, which would be, you know, weird. So uh, that's my Cosmo I'm down. All I've got left now is my first Cosmo, which couldn't do anything at all. This was a, a Leper Berry Cosmo. So basically, when I ran out of moves, the berry would kick in, and I get, you know, some more PP back. You always got a level of PP, people. All right, so I was like, you know what? I've only got to do one thing right. It lived on one health with the Sticky Pup. Let's go Dynamax Cosmo, and let's go for the Max Cut, and let's get this stuff, people. This is co this is pure content, people. Like, out of all the content that I've done, this is this is pretty pure content. So go for the Dynamax Cosmo here, and all I gotta do is go for one max guard, and the sticky barb is gonna kick in at the end of the turn. That is one big Cosmo. The crying Cosmo is pretty nice, I've got a bit. Okay, people, so we got a big uh, big old Cosmo here. If they can't do anything to me, they can't get through the max guard. Uh, so going for, I think I went for max guard splash just for a little bit of disrespect there. They're going to go for a G-Max meltdown. Well, they're going to have a meltdown after they die to a uh, Sticky Barb there. Sticky Barb is going to kick in and Meltdown is going to go down. That was content, and we got a baby bottle, people. Oh, oh that was absolutely incredible. Whoever that was, I hope you enjoyed losing to a Cosmo because that, you should have picked your whole team. You shouldn't have got overconfident at the start of the battle. All right, people, that is battle number one. I really hope you enjoyed that. And speaking of trolling, this battle, like, I got trolled so hard in this battle. Now, I will say one thing. When I was doing the full Cosmo team, right, I announced this to my audience, right? I'm like, I'm, I'm using six Cosmo. Bring a team along that's probably, you know, that probably can be on more even sort of ground with this team. And after saying that, I I did regret that because I got trolled hard. So we've got a battle here. This one's against Cop Meister and we've got a Shuckle Now Shuckle is going to go for a power trick. I'm like, what is this going to be? So all I could do to Shuckle was use Splash. I had to sort of wait for it to attack me right. Then I went for a Cosmic Power here. So that's going to bolster my defense uh, by plus one and uh, special defense and defense. Now the Shuckle is going to go with a power split right now. So it's going to share its power that it just gave itself uh, with the power trick right. So like, Hmm, what's going on here? So I went for another Cosmic Power. That, once again, there wasn't a lot that I could do here, right? Then uh, Shuckle is actually going to go for a Shell Smash. I'm like, okay, Shell Smash. So it's going to have uh, the Contra. It's going to drop its uh, stats there. And then um, its stats are going to drop um, on its attack and uh, its uh, special attack. So I'm like, hmm, what is this set going to be? And then the item kicks in, which is the Eject Pack, people. Power Trick, <laughs> Shell Smash, Shuckle with Eject Pack. Only on Pinrush Shadow. So obviously they want to swap the shuckle. Then the Mr. Uh, the Mr. Mime, the Mime Junior, is going to go for a trick. I'm like, what is going on right now? So I got tricked, the choice band. Then I'm starting to see what's going to happen here. Wait, they're trying to give me a choice item and they're trying to bolster my attack. Like, what are they doing? And then the Mime Junior went for a skill swap. Right now, I know that Mime Junior is technician, and technician is going to actually boost the power of a certain move. Now I was like, okay. If I run out of PP, I'm going to use Struggle, right? But that's going to take more than 20 minutes. And then Mime Jr. goes for a Taunt on me. And that is going to force me to go for a Struggle. So there's nothing I can do here. And then they went for a Disrespect Grass Knot. Because, you know, Grass Knot on a really heavy Pokemon is going to do no damage. This is pure gold, people. So I'm forced to go for a Struggle. I can't do anything. But basically, my opponent is manipulating the entire battle. Like, I cannot do anything at all here, right? So I'm going to get hit by another Grass Knot. It's going to do negative three damage. And I'm going to go for another Struggle. And Mime Junior is going to go down. I was like, man, this is fire right now. I'm actually doing 10 damage. So I think my opponent is trying to make my team, like, amazing, right? So I was, I was wondering what other strategies uh, were going to come out, right? So out comes Inka here. What's going to go on? Uh, Inka is going to go for a Taunt there. Does Inka even have fingers? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get Taunted. And uh, none of my moves are going to be out of work. So now Swagger is going to come away. Swagger is going to miss. I'm going to go for another Struggle here. So str obviously they're going to try and boost my attack with uh, Swagger, right? So that's going to make Struggle do more damage. So uh, it's going to have an item there. <laughs> it's going to have Contrary Leechy Berry. <laughs> what the? 
Okay, anyway, so my swagger misses again, and I'm going to go for another strike. Like, this is like, like, I, I've been trolled before, but I, I don't think I've been trolled this hard. So, uh, Inke's going to go down, and I'm going to go down to struggle. Nothing I could have done there. So, that's one Cosmo I'm down. So, there's still a Shuckle left, and there's still uh, three other Pokemon to troll me. So, in comes Curlier now. I'm thinking what Curlier is actually going to do to me. Also, there's a hidden little message on these uh, Cosmomes to wonder if you can... Uh, wonder if you know what that is. I think I might have put it on the thumbnail, so it's kind of already obvious. But anyway, I had to put that as the nickname. So, we're going to get swaggered again by the Curlier this time. So, okay, they're going to try and boost my attack. How are they going to get me to attack again after this? So, uh, we've got the struggle. It's doing fairly good damage to Curlier. And it's about a fight. It's a solid five here, okay? So, now Curlier is going to swap out. What is this battle? And then Chansey's going to like come in. So it's like, okay, what's Chansey going to do here? Now, as so like, I have to say this, right? As soon as I seen Chansey, right? Look how much struggle did. I thought, what if they're going to use, uh, like, uh, counter against my struggle? Like, just to troll me. Like, there's no way they can be on that trolling sort of level. Like, so I hit myself in confusion, and Chansey has counter. I'm like, I, I, I had a little, like, a little feeling after seeing what the Mime Junior did. Like, he was trying to troll me as much as possible, right? So I'm going to get, uh, obviously I'm still confused here, and I'm going to hit myself in the confusion, and Chansey is not going to be able to do anything but Last Resort. So this Chansey encounter and Last Resort, I just got taken out by a Last Resort Chansey. Only on Pimp Night Shadow, people. So down, go <laughs> down goes my Cosmo, and there's still four left, right? Now my next Cosmo, this was the, I think this might have been the Rowett Berry one, or the Jabaka Berry one. I can't remember. They all look the same, right? Now, here comes the counter. Uh, Chansey can only use uh, last... No, this is the Sticky Barb one. This is the MVP from the first battle, right? There better be comments about Sticky Barb in the comment section where you write comments, right? I'll be disappointed if there isn't. So, Chansey's going to swap out here, and Curlier's going to come back in. So, like, okay. Curlier is obviously going to try and give me some more attack, right? The thing about this is, right, I'm going to go down to Sticky Barb unless they don't have an item or hit me with a physical contact move, right? So Curlier is going to go for a heal pulse. I'm like, what is Curlier doing? So Curlier, right, is trying to stop me fainting from the sticky bar. <laughs> what is this? And uh, they're going to try and give me some more attack. So if I do hit myself in confusion from, like, a swagger, right, the Curlier can heal me up and force me into a struggle, like, uh, hopefully, right? So uh, Sticky Bob's going to do some more damage there to me. I'm about, like, you know, getting close to a quarter health here. And here comes the heal pulse from the Curlier again. Now, the thing that was sort of concerning me here, right, because obviously before we had, you know, before Generation 8, we had, like, an hour to do a whole battle. Now I've only got 20 minutes, right? And judging by the damage I'm doing struggle, it's, it's going to take the best bit of 20 minutes to even, you know, try and take some of these Pokemon out. So here comes another Swagger from the Curlier, bolstering my Cosmo's attack. Now, this Cosmome didn't have any attack EVs. There, were, there, there was one that did have attack EVs, and that was my uh, that was my Salt Vest set. So that's the set that's going to be, like, doing most of the damage there. Now, Struggle also was a typeless move. It uh, has 60 base power. And before I got the Technician right, so that actually boosted the base power. Right? So uh, we're going to have three Swaggers here on my Cosmome. Mate. I wonder what there else there is this uh, Curlier set, right? It's used Swagger, it's used Taunt, and it used Heal Pulse. I don't know what the other move is. I was kind of curious what it would actually be, right? So doing some more damage to me with the Sticky Barb. Curlier is going to go for another Heal Pulse here, just making sure I can actually use Struggle more than, like, one more turn. Like, the, the, basically here, the opponent had 110% control over what was going to go on in this battle, because obviously Cosmo only has three moves, right? So I was getting trolled really hard here. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So we got some more Sticky Bark. Uh, Curly is going to go for another Taunt here, which is going to put me into struggle range, right? So I can't do any any moves at all, uh, attacking moves, because i got none. So the next turn is going to be a struggle. What's going to happen? So Curly is going to go for yet another Heal Pulse here. I think this could just be a, just a straight troll set to make me use struggle. Keep healing me up there to attack the Curly out. I think that at this stage, I was thinking that could be it, right? So struggle's really doing hardly any damage, even with all those attack boosts, right? So Sticky Barb is going to do some more damage to me. This was definitely the longest part of the battle. Now Curly is going to go for another Swagger here. So even with plus six in attack, struggle is not going to be doing a lot of damage on a Cosmo. If you go... If you go online and check out much uh, Cosmo's attack, it, or tax that is, it's not very hard at all. So now we're going to go for yet for another struggle here. It does some pretty good damage. I think the next uh, the next one after this is definitely going to work. So Sticky Barb is going to do some more damage to me. I'm almost getting close to fainting here. Curlier is going to go for another talk. Now that'll put me straight into struggle range afterwards, and the Sticky Barb will kick in once again. So I pretty much need Curlier to go for another heal pulse here. Otherwise, they're going to go down. And then it pops a Dusty Pod. 
after making my ass wait for like 10 minutes, healing me up, giving me plus six attack, they're going to go for a Desi bot and take me out with it. But I hit myself in confusion again and Sticky Barb takes me out after all that time. Come on. Come on. It can't be happening. So we still got this Curly life, and now that I know Curly has got Destiny Bond. But there's not, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. Like, it's not like I can go for a physical attack. Or everything. So here we go again. Now we've got the Curly go for a swag here um, on my uh, Cosmo. I'm confused once again. If I do heal myself for confusion at plus six, it's going to do a fair bit of damage to me. Uh, we're going to go for a splash here. So that's all I can do. I can't do anything. I've got splash cosmic power. I just can't do anything at all. Now, Curly is going to swap out here. I'm sure it's going to be back later on. And Kyrim is going to come in. Black Kyrim was like, what is this set going to be? Like, here we go. So, um, this thing's got a lot of attack, right? So, obviously, I'm confused here. And I'm going to hit myself with confusion, which does no damage at all. Here comes a struggle Black Kyrim. So, this is... I, I think this would be running, like... Just judging on the damage that it did to me. I think this could be running a Choice Band struggle set. Now, I had a couple of people in my last video ask me about... Um, Ask me about struggle right how can you give it choice ban and struggle right if you give it a move that is uh not in the game say if you gave it like a move that's not in the game like frustration right and you gave it uh choice ban that'll force you to use struggle even though the move's not in the game it'll just force you to use it you won't be able to use the move it'll just be like it'll be like having a salt vest on this you actually can get more base power out of struggle which is really cool so I'm going to go for a Cosmic Power here on my Cosmo. Uh, what I had to do, right, is I had to stall this Kyrim out. Because like, if it did struggle damage to itself, that was the only way to take it out. So it does a quarter damage every single time. And the Rocky Helmet is going to take it out. So we took another Pokemon out here, people. I'm sure that was my opponent's... Uh, obviously, that was what my opponent wanted to do that too. So go for another Cosmic Power here. Um, I can't do anything. All I can do is boost my defense. Like, what is going to happen now? So we got Shuckle, we got Chansey, we got Curlier left. So in comes the Shuckle again. So like, okay... We know what the Shuckle's going to do. It's going to go for a power trick, right? So it's going to swap its attack and defense. If you don't know, the Shuckle's got very high defenses. So after that happens, right, it's going to go It's going to go for the power trick, and then it's going to go uh, and give those stats to me. And I'm not, I don't really know how I'm going to take Shuckle out. Um, it'll have to stay in there with, like, two defense, right? That would pretty much be the only way to take it out. So getting another defense rise there from the Cosmic Power, it's going to go for the power split there. So it's going to split the power that um, it just got from the uh, power trick. And now the Shuckle is going to be withdrawn. And after I see the Shuckle get withdrawn, I was like, this is definitely going to be Curly. So Curly's going to come back in. And I was worried, right, because if, if it does use Destiny Bob, which I'm 1,000% sure it's going to do, I'm going to take myself out. So here comes the Tornier. It's going to make me struggle. Is it going to be enough to take out the Curlier? Or will Curlier mistime the Destiny Bond and get trolled again? Uh, like last time I got trolled by Sticky Barb. Like, I mean, I did fight, but it's, it was still a troll. So there was a lot of trolling going on right, right now. So here comes the struggle, people. And struggle is going to take the Curlier out. And since it used Destiny Bond, down goes my Cosmo. Man, I can't do anything right now. I'm getting, tro I'm getting trolled on another level. So I've got two more Cosmo left. We are getting towards the end of the battle here, and out comes Chansey. like, what can I do to Chansey? Like, like the, the Ch Chansey had last resort. That was about it. Like, I, I don't know if I'm doing much yet. So what I did, right, is I went for a double swap, and I went into... This, uh, this was my Roat Berry one. I wanted it to go for a last resort to do some damage to it, right? I don't think there was enough to actually take it out here. So here comes the last resort here from the Chansey. It actually does pretty good damage. And the Roat Berry is going to kick in here, hoping to take the Chansey out. And it just missed it, unfortunately. I'm going to need, like, another, like, probably another two Roat Berries. It would have been, been really, really cool if it got recycled. Now, Chansey's got to swap out here, and Shuckle is going to swap back in. I don't know what Shuckle can actually do to me now. Like, I cannot do anything at all. Like, there's nothing that I can do at this stage. We got two... I think we had, like, two or three minutes left of the battle. So, Shuckle's going to go for a power trick there. I don't make sure my, my screen glitched or something like that. I'm not sure what that was. And I'm just going to sit here and go for Splash. Now, I was trying to contemplate what I could actually do right here. I hadn't Dynamax yet, so I thought... I might be able to Dynamax and stall something out, but I wasn't really sure what I could stall out here, right? There wasn't much I could do. I didn't have a lot of play here, people. So we got two minutes left of this uh, incredibly amazing battle, and I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to go for Splash, right? I'm just going to sit here and Splash, and here comes Sandtomb from Chuckle. Sandtomb is going to miss, so it had an attacking move all along. So I don't really want to go down to a Sandtomb Shuckle. That would actually be quite disrespectful, but there's not a lot I can do, right? So now Sandtomb does some pretty good damage after that... Um, after that power trick there, uh, swapping his attack and defense, and nothing is going to happen there. All I can do is splash. So I'm thinking, if I can somehow stall out the shuckle, I might be able to stop it from feigning me. I don't know what I can do, but I'm going to have to do it with my next Pokemon, right? 
because this next sand two is going to take me out with the damage right uh, the damage after the end of the turn so my fourth cosmome is going to go down we've probably got close to nearly about like one more minute left this battle i thought i've got a dynamax cosmome I have to do it. Here we go, people. We're down to the last 50 seconds of this battle. I don't know whether you last this long. Let me know if you last this long in the comment section of the video. But, man, this was, this was a glorious, glorious battle. So I thought I've got to go for the the, the, the disrespect uh, max guard here. And I want to see, right, if I can max guard three times in a row in 30 seconds. So at this stage, right, we were both spamming A as fast as we could. Like, the animation for Dynamax takes up a lot of turn, right? So, like, a lot of time. Like, it almost took up, like, 20 seconds there, like, after it got, like, really, really big. Um, so anyway, we got the uh, Dynamax Cosmo. I'm going to go for Max Guard straight away. I wanted to see if I could pull three in a row off here. So 20 seconds left here. I got the first Max Guard off, obviously. Can I get the second one off? Santum's not going to do anything. I don't want this Cosmo to faint to the shuckle, right? And then I went for a second Max Guard here, hoping I could get it. And it failed. I'm like, oh, I could have got three in a row. And that, my friends, is the second Cosmo in battle. I got completely trolled there and manipulated. There wasn't anything I could do. Hope you enjoyed both those battles. I'm so glad that this team is finally done. If you want to check out the full Cosmog team, if you like this sort of stuff, I'll leave it at the uh, little recommendations after this. Peace out, people. Have a wonderful day or night.